name is Cheryl Hook and I'm a candle maker. I live in the beautiful village of Waddington in the Ribble Valley with my husband Trevor. The seasons are really evident here. Um, we live in the nick of Pandors, so it's usually very, very wet, but we learn to live with that. Living here works perfectly for the job that we do. The colours are very vibrant, the fragrances are very fresh and clean, and the walk to work down the lane in the morning gives you plenty of inspiration for the day ahead. Many of the fragrances that we create are natural and sort of woody, earthy fragrances, and that inspiration comes from the area we live in. I started Melt in 1999, and it really never started as a business. It was more of a hobby. I've always adored fragrance, and I started making candles as a vehicle to get the fragrance into a room. I found it very therapeutic, it was very calming and soothing. The candles looked terrible at the beginning, but I used to hide them round a corner. Um, but the fragrance was great, and from there we started doing tabletop sales and local fairs. We arrived at the name when we started producing the candles commercially, um, because we realised that we needed a brand that people would remember. Um, and that fitted the product. So we actually became Melt in 2001 when we first moved on to Backridge Farm. We ended up at Backridge Farm because we'd run the business for approximately 18 months from the kitchen and then we moved into a friend's garage. I wanted to be somewhere in the beautiful countryside near where we lived. We really didn't think that we were going to find anywhere appropriate. Um, but one day the local farmer was in the village pub and at the opposite end of the bar to us and offered us a barn to rent. So we went to have a look. So for me the most important and fun part of the process is creating a new fragrance. It's the part of the job that's always exciting and once upon a time we just used to play with essential oils and mixing them ourselves but we now work with clo very closely with fragrance houses who make them up to the required standards. The way we choose to colour the candles is we, we pay attention to the fragrance that's going in there and sometimes a fragrance can alter the colour. Our angel candle was originally designed to be um, a really delicate lilac but the essential oils actually strip out any shades of red so it was only ever going to be eau de Neil or duck egg blue and it's been that colour ever since. The other ways we colour the candles is we like to think of how they're going to be used in people's homes. So we try to think about complementary colours, nice deep sort of burgundies or, or greens and greys. Once the candles have come out of the moulds and they're levelled, they're then ready to go through to the dispatch area. All the candles are selected for the order, um, they're labelled and they're boxed in, in lovely um, black and white packaging and then packed up and sent on their way. The Chandlery was opened in 2014 and is in a unit adjacent to our main retail outlet. We opened, when we opened the shop in 2004 it was really to showcase the candles but also to give visitors some other lovely things that they couldn't find easily locally. But the candles have proved so popular that they now have their own room. So a chandlery is officially the old um, room in a medieval house where the candles were kept and they were very highly prized so they were under lock and key. So ours aren't quite under lock and key but they now have their own room which is lovely. What I love most about the business is making something from scratch. It feels very honest, a very therapeutic thing to do. And we're just very fortunate that people seem to love what we do.